interface we can see that we are accessible to all of our uh, computer so my files are located here on the uh, desktop so by selecting the desktop I will find all the desktop uh, contents here so I will select three of those files which I require which is the same here I will drag them and drop them into this region I will leave the mouse the left mouse button now you as you can see three of those files all of them uh, has been uh, assigned to be written to that DVD and you can see here after I put those files here it shows me this green area as you can see this green this green bar show represents the total size of all the files comparing with the total size of the DVD itself you see the DVD the blank DVD that I've already put in there in the DVD drive it's shown 4.5 gigabyte so I'm using here only 150 megabyte of the total space so here I will have all or most of the size of the DVD is free is empty and while I don't have right now at this moment additional files to be per burned with the same DVD so why should I waste this DVD in the future I can use this empty um, size in the future so what what I'm gonna do when I click on burn to to burn those files on the DVD disk it will show me the same first interface which I can go to multi-session again and I will select start multi-session disk and I will click burn the DVD now it's burning the files as you see the first time the green bars has been completed it means it has completed the making the image file and the second one is to burn the DVD now the uh, the burning process has been completed and the DVD has ejected automatically I click OK um, I will show you if I want to add more files I will put first the DVD that I've already written on I will put it back on the DVD drive we can go there and check the DVD if it's written or not you see the name is test double click you will find those files are here it's written so now I will create um, an additional uh, session that I want to add more uh, files so what I'm gonna do now I will click on continue multi-session disk it means I want to add more files to that disk that I've already burned and I will click new now it's shown me that this disk has the multi-session uh, ability if it doesn't have you will see this OK is deactivated OK so you can test the DVD that pre-burned before whether it's uh, multi-session or not by, by checking this button now it's OK I can click on it and now I can add more files by the way you can drag and drop from the desktop directly to this location for example the hard disk photos I'm gonna take it here and leave it so when I burn this disk again it will add only this folder into the DVD okay I will click here and and I will burn it's the burn process complete successfully now if I put back the DVD again I will show you that the files are, are uh, successfully burned on it now 
I can go to my computer and open the test you will see the hard disk photos already added to the same blank DVD okay now uh, I will go and open again this interface if you want to copy a DVD if you have a DVD already and you want to copy it to another blank one to make several copies it's so easy and easier than the the first one at least you have to have one DVD writer drive into your installed into your uh, PC if you have two it's easier for you but if you have one driver there it's okay to complete this process in the copy options of the copy DVD there is one important thing you have to remember what the software going to do if you keep on this ticked it will take and uh, it will read the, fi the files from the source DVD and burn it directly to the so to the um, uh, destination blank DVD and this might be a little bit risky because um, the, the source disk the source DVD might not clean or might scratched or it might have some problems there so uh, if the reading process facing some issues or some problems and it couldn't read specific data during the reading process um, the, the destination DVD will be um, defected and it will be spoiled so you see this uh, if you untick this uh, option in the image tab you will find you will find this image file options are accessible if you see that uh, I'm click this again you will see that this is this uh, interface is deactivated so what we mean by this image if you untick this option the 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 software will make all the data from the source DVD uh, disk the original one and collect them and make them as an image file stored temporarily on the hard disk and after completing this uh, operation it will start copying this image file and extract it again to the a new blank DVD the destination one you can assign another directory for this image file as you can see it's uh, assigned uh, by default in this directory in the C partition inside the document and settings folder inside the folder of the user inside the my document folder this is the name by default of the image of course you can change it but no need to change it I mean the name from this uh, small info box you can see the partitions of your hard disk this is my hard disk has four partitions and one external hard disk and the free spaces for example if my image the, the source DVD contain size for example 3 gigabyte in this case I cannot store the image file on the D and the E partitions because the uh, the content the final uh, the total content size of the uh, source DVD is more than the free space of those two partitions so I either I select the C partition or select one of those partitions and by doing that I go to browse and choose for example e, uh, for example F and here I can store this image file and I will click save you will see the destination image file location is different and by selecting this option it's so important to select this one so after completing the burning process onto the uh, blank DVD this image will be automatically deleted to save space on your hard disk drive and by clicking the copy button it will start copying the, the desired DVD onto the blank one 